Hi there and welcome back to Mass Effect. I am Byron. And um, what do we do? I think, uh, let's go to that Hannah. I think he was... It? I don't know. Was it a male Hannah or a female Hannah? It sounded male. Anyway, the creature was, I think, in front of the tower. There it is. Because now we have like our fifth charm point. We should be able to mop this up now. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. The Enkindlers wouldn't wish their message to be spread by breaking society's laws. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. Well done. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Thank you. Looking for a traveling thingy? I think there's a traveling thingy here. Yes. Let's go to Chora's then. This time nobody should be shooting at us. So, um, we can talk to Jenna. Just save. Just in case. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I do something stupid. I'll wait right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. She puts on a brave face. And there is... Where's the fucking... Yeah. Commander! <laughs> what do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. Then why create rumors and lies about this woman? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. I think I can see why you're upset, but spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but... Don't waste your time. General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if 
she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. And this is why it's good to specialize, either in, you know, Paragon or Renegade. But don't distribute your points between the both of them, and then you might not be able to get the good answers. I mean, that's like, oh. If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. What did you just say? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. What was that about? I guess we better go find out. So the thing is, um, when they made this game, they incentivized the player, you know, to go for either Paragon or Renegade by using this to gatekeep um, the good answers and conversations. And then the devs complained that, you know, the, the, the players don't really choose um, an answer like after they are hard. They just go full Paragon or full Renegade. And then they eliminated the system, I think, in the third, third part of the series. But, like, the players just did what the devs incentivized. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Shorban. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... Your lies are catching up with you. We spoke with your friend, Jalid. You... spoke with Jalid? Then you know about the data? No, but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jalid and I just got a little... over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jalid and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Jalid already stole? We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? I'm not breaking regulations for you or your research. Return what you stole or I'll have you arrested. All right. You don't need to ask twice. Well then, no more scanning. I promise. Of course, Jalid still has the initial data and I doubt he's planning to return it. I'll deal with Jalid. So long, Commander. Alrighty. What now? Um, the sister. Ah, oh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. I know. We need to go to CSEC and we need to go to the embassy. Or oh, is there. 
Like a travel station somewhere. to go down. Okay. Oh wait, there are two things. Okay. Oh yes, of course, you too. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jolid. Lying? Why would I lie to you? What about the Keeper data? We know about that. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I can't let this continue any further. I'm reporting what you did. But I can't. What will happen to the data when I'm gone? Who will carry on our research? It's a bit late to be thinking about that. But this data could be used to unravel all the secrets of the Keepers. Think what we could learn about the Citadel. Tell me more about this data. Well, it's still very preliminary, but our initial scans suggest the Keepers are as old as the Citadel itself. We might learn how the Citadel was built, or why the Keepers always rearrange things. The possibilities are limitless! Oh, apparently I'm not good enough yet. I can't let your actions go unpunished. No, please. I'll do anything. I've got credits. Let me go and you can have them. All of them. What's going on over here? Is this Volus causing you some trouble, Commander? He's admitted to stealing data from his workplace. Really? I think you'd better come with me. But... Uh... I'll take it from here, Commander. Thanks for your help. But the data! You don't know what you've done! All right, save it for your lawyer. So, maybe this was not the best option? Maybe this was not the best option. Maybe I should have done this later. When I have a higher Paragon level and more... Shit. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. You can start... I'm not sure what Your you lies do. are catching. Spoke with Jill. No, but you boys can me. go. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jalid and I. Jaleed. Can you imagine a tool that can act That's so special? After? Don't you? you've seen it yourself, Commander. You Why are you trying? Jaleed. But he decided to keep the data for himself. So you're just trying. Not... You'll stand. I'm not breaking regulations for you. All right. Well then, of course, Jalid still has the initial. I'll deal with Jalid. Okay. We leave Jahlid be now for the time being. Till we are mm, more charming, I guess. Detective Chelling, come into my office. I want to discuss this. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. 
You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were there to help her get out. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, detective? It's part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? Hmm. Still not good enough. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. How did his voice change now? I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Okay. So, there were a few gray options that I couldn't pick. But I guess this works too. Doesn't look like I'm botching anything. I mean, finding out information about the keepers is a good thing, I guess. Uh, markets. Lower markets, is it? There it is. Hold it! That's close enough, army. You got my payment? Do you have the mods? Show her the goods. That looks right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. I'm taking you in, Jax. It's a sting! Bastard set us up! The hell are you playing at? Here's your money, Jax. <laughs> Sense of humor, huh? It's gonna get you killed one of these days, Army. Come on, boys. We're done here. Okay. Just having a little fun. Out of my way. Guess who's back? Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Chelik. Excellent. This is everything I need. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it, and you've earned some payment for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. And again, the voice changed. So. Mm -hmm.
Uh, let's see whether the sister got home safely. Hmm. Is that her? Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. And yet, you seem less than pleased. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. Okay. So that kind of worked. Let's say hi to the diplomat. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. You are mistaken. See this here if you don't believe us. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. <laughs> yeah, I got XP for it. Do not listen to my Volus compatriot. It was a good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. So, let's say hi to the prostitute. She should be happy. I went fairly often when it was still the Arcos. Yeah, ever since Fist took over, I don't go anymore. Seems like all the best lounges are being replaced by places. Septimus has sent word. Apparently, he sought the consort's forgiveness. Yes, yes, yes. Who would be responsible for this, I wonder? The door is open again. Looks like we have been granted an audience. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander, but I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. 
You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. You never hide your strength, either. It serves you well, terrifies your foes. Few will dare to stand against you. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elkor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Will they? So, okay. We leveled up. Um, what do we want? What would auto leveling do? Assault training. Nah. Let's increase sniper rifles and combat armor. And you, of course, ding ding. And you could auto level up. Thank you. Um, so, oh, yes, the, the reporter. So, can't do this yet, apparently, but we could go to the reporter. Hmm, I think maybe from the markets? I don't know. What would, be the, what would be the closest drop off point? Yeah, that is pretty good. Where is she? There she is. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Okay, nice. Anything new here? No? And neither here. So the only thing that is left is... To expose Saren, we have to return to the tower. Oh, the consort has a her own destination. Didn't have to hoof it across the grid bridge then. Oh, we're already in the tower. Very nice. And uh, we need to head this way apparently. Yes. But we will do that in the next video. So, thanks for watching and see you soon. Good bye.